Hey, what's up, athletes? Uh, uh, I'm not really sure how to do an intro for this. <laughs> um, we're going to try uh, the new AI modes in Operation Deep Freeze. Uh, I'm coming into these as unbiased as I can be. Um, I did try target drill just a little bit this morning, and by a little bit, that means... I, um, <laughs> uh, that means that I loaded into it and then decided to make a video on it. So, yeah, I don't know anything about either of these, so we'll try target drill first. I'm going to try to approach this as non biased as I can and just look at this from a uh, uh, no vote. Who cares? Throw me somewhere random. Let's try Tuberow out. Welcome to the target drill. I'm gonna set up a few dummies in the building. You head in there and take them all out. All right. Um. I don't have any health. I just noticed that. I don't have any health. I don't... So I guess I can't die? Is that what that means? Why, why can I reinforce? Why, why am I allowed to do that? Okay, so I can't even die. This guy doesn't even notice me. They don't even move? They just stand there? Are you kidding me? They just stand still? Really? Wow. I can't go out that way. So they... What's the point of this? They don't move. They just stand still. I can't die. So, what, what, what's the point? Who is this for? Like, if you can't die, then why even have it as an option for the AI to shoot back at you? Why do I have infinite gun ammo, but I have limited equipment ammo? What? Why is there a bomb here? Were those not the dummies I was supposed to kill? The thing on the left never moved up. So, you can just kill enemies out of order and it doesn't matter?
I, I don't, I don't even know what to say. I have like nothing to say. Terrorist hunt died for this. Is, is this just infinite? Does this just go on forever? So they don't, they only engage you through the wall if you put a hole in the wall. That's nice. You know, you know what would be great? Okay, so I think this is just infinite then, because I, I already went. You did that target drill like gangbusters. But remember, the more you practice, the better you get. Gangbusters? Lone Wolf mission successful? So they're just, they just use, what? Why? <laughs> Lone Wolf, what? Mission success? I didn't do anything. That, that... That was awful. Is, what is, who is that for? Let's try Landmark Drill. What's this? I guess I'm a defender again. Well, sure, why not? He only has one pistol? Wow. We'll try the MPX. Does it matter? Welcome to the landmark drill. I'm gonna go ahead and randomly activate a single device in this here building. You locate, then deactivate it as quickly as you can. Oh. Two, four, two, what? What? Wait, is there like lore implications with these audio logs? Lore implications. Okay, maybe I'll do another video. Maybe I'll do a video for the lore implications on this. Okay, maybe. How do I get to the basement? Wait, are these... Is this just a radio log from... from a celebration at Dublin Castle and is still on the loose. Wait, is this just the radios that play on the cars at Emerald there Plains? Robbery at the Allied Irish Bank and New Bride Street. That, that might actually be it. Maybe there's... That might just... It might just be... 
audio from the uh, cars that are outside some maps. I just realized, too, again, I can barricade and reinforce. Why? Oh no, I've been detected outdoors. How 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 is this outdoors? This is outdoors. Guess it's a cool looking map. Be nice to fight stuff in it. Why do I even have a gun? I don't even need to shoot anything. Here's what kills me. They're going they they're willing to go through all this. They're willing to have a custom HUD overlay for zero. They're willing to have the voice actor come back in and record a couple of new lines. They're willing to make those little tablet models. Um they're they're willing to have this HUD on the top left. They're willing to do all that but they're not willing to just update what existed already. They weren't willing to update just the code for terrorist time. They just decided, you know what? Let's just remake everything. Like, wh why would you do that to yourself? Nice going. You just rocked the landmark draw. Now keep at it, because practice is how you're going to reach success. What? Also, what's the point of finding these landmarks? Lone Wolf again. What's the point of even finding the landmarks? Like, th those aren't in the game. I guess it's to identify rooms. Ah. What's the point? Like, you're not... Like, all that was useful for was... Letting me explore the map, which is cool, I guess, but why not just let me, I don't know, just have that as a custom games option and give me some enemies that I have to fight against that put up an actual challenge. Like, there was nothing wrong with Terrorist Hunt. There's no reason for it to have been removed, especially when these two modes are legitimately shit. All right, let's let's try this. Uh, you know what? Aim is unforgiving, or aim is less accurate. So the so it's either too easy or too hard. Then there's no middle option. Is anyone even playing this? What do you know? People are playing it. I only get... What? Fine, I'll be a recruit. 
Now let's all go recruit. We'll recruit rush these bots. I only get six choices? Why? That's less than Siege at launch. Why why are you, why do you only get six operators? We need to locate a bomb. Smoke wasn't even moving, so... I don't think my teammates are going to help out much. Are these guys bots, too? Insertion in 10 seconds. Oh, they're all, they're all becoming recruit. That's what's going on. You must locate and defuse a bomb. Valkyrie's one of the playable AI bots? Why? Okay. AI Berlin is playing as a mute. Nice tracking. have been eliminated. So this is just this is just a regular multiplayer match then, but no ops and AI bots. I don't even think they can go anywhere else because I've only seen all the clips I've seen are always upstairs. So, insertion in ten seconds. If that if that is true, and the only way to win is, or the AI can only be in one spot, what's the point? It's 
about to get hot. I detected. We located a bomb. Well, that was a waste. Oh well. Well, <laughs> that's yeah. I deserve that. Op four eliminated. Friendly mission successful. So it's just four rounds of this and an overtime round? Oh, they are on different floors, okay. All the clips I've seen show them up here, so... I guess I just assumed they only spawn up here. Insertion in five seconds. Proceed to bomb location and defuse it. I still want to know though why I'm only allowed a couple of ops. Okay, so th that's all this is then. It's just, it's exactly what it is. You just fight against bots. There's barely any, barely any to choose from. You don't get to play as the defenders. It's kind of hard to judge the AI. Um, since I suck at video games, I killed myself the second round. First round I got outflanked. Which isn't, you know, like necessarily something that a smart that smart AI can do. Or isn't necessarily a trait of smart AI, because even dumb AI can outflank a player. But a bomb. Who is this for? Like, again, with... Just like with Map Run, who is this for? Like, I guess this is fun, yeah, but... But, like, I don't know. It... it... 
is this like supposed to be like a warm up thing? Because if this is for warming up, who's going to want to invest? I think Ten what is it four three. rounds? Yeah, you got to play four rounds. Who's going to want to invest that seconds. much time into this before going into like ranked or something? A bomb must be located and defused. Did I locate that? The diffuser is no longer in your possession. One friendly operator remaining. Yeah, uh, that's definitely the reflexes of a human player. Is Mute stuck? Op he didn't even do anything. Friendly mission successful. Mute just stood there. <laughs> so that was advanced. Oh. So you can, you can commend people for this, but you don't get battle pass stuff. All right. Um, so that was the advanced AI. What's the beginning AI look like? You know what? Let's just try this by myself.
I mean, I know a lot of people are going to say, oh, that's smart, they can do that, but, like, it's not... I mean, it's smart, yeah, but the AI at launch wasn't that far away from that. I'm probably going to get killed here. Eliminated all friendlies. I don't play any of these guys except occasionally thermite, so like I don't even get to, to pr so back. like yeah. I'm gonna go. I I know I was quiet. Like what? What? Who is this for? Like I I don't play half of any of these guys except occasionally thermite. So I can't even use this to warm up against uh, while playing as the ops that I do play as. Your drone has found a bomb. And you play this solo. You're just you know you're just playing. You're just playing a multiplayer match basically by yourself, so. Five seconds to insert. I can understand the appeal to that, but. You've located a bomb. Make your way to its location and defuse it. That's just kind of where we're at here. You play this solo or with, you know, a couple of your friends. I guess you might have a. I, I guess if you're playing with people, it's more fun, but. I'm, I'm just still trying to figure out who is this mode made for. Because, like, I can't use this to warm up. I don't play any of the ops here.
Does Valkyrie even place the cameras? I haven't seen any. That's my drone. <laughs> I'm gonna die here. You've run out of time. All right, I think I've made my point. <laughs> I'm not seeing a single reason why one mode had to been completely removed in favor of these. Like, I'll, I'll give them credit. There's the AI is, act, is decent, I guess. Um, it does act like real players, so I'll give them credit where credit is due. They at least figured out how to make some AI improvements. Pretty impressive for how badly they butchered it before. But I'm not hearing, like... I I'm still not seeing why this needed to have been... To needed to completely replace the other mode. Like, okay... This AI is good. Why couldn't you just use it on the other mode? Like, again, like the problem with this, the problem with Defender AI right now, at least from what I'm seeing, isn't that it's bad. It's that what's the point? I don't even gain battle pass points for doing this, so I can't even use the argument of, oh, well, I'm playing this just to warm up. Well, why would I play this just to warm up when I could play, like, any of the other game modes? Like, I, I, I hate people who use the argument of, oh, T-Hunt was just a warm-up thing. But, like, yeah, you could use that as a pretty decent warm-up. It was fast. It was easy to get into. You just ran in, you shot some people, and then you go into a ranked match or whatever. But this... There's multiple rounds. It doesn't look like you can customize how many rounds there are for solo play. So you're forced to play through this or just leave early, which, okay, fine, I guess. You have located a bomb. Doesn't even tell you that there's only one guy left? Interesting. Like, here, here was the appeal to why some people, even, like, people who use it just as a warm-up, liked T-Hunt. They liked T-Hunt because it was different. It wasn't just this. It wasn't just an online match. 
you fought against different enemies. There were more of them. Mission successful, bomb defused. You could go at your own pace. You weren't like rushed into anything. You have a you did you, if you had a time limit, it was pretty generous. It was like what, 15 minutes, I think, for the hardest difficulty, 30 or maybe it was 10, I don't know. You had a pretty generous time limit regardless. You could just kind of go in. You could just kind of screw around. You didn't have to play to the objective if you didn't want to. You could go in and try out every single operator that was present in the game and just figure out how to use them. Even if they weren't, like, super useful, like Brava, you could still at least try them and figure out how to play them a, a bit easier than what, that, what the map run thing is doing. Like... Like, okay, this AI playlist right now, it's cool, it's unique. The AI isn't horrible, but... I'm already kind of bored with it. Because I'm just playing something that I already play constantly anyway. Like, I like T-Hunt personally. Oh, that's cool. I like T-Hunt personally because it... You know, it was a challenge. At least it used to be. It used to be a challenge. You had to play a specific way. You had to play... You had to avoid, like, the roaming bombers. You had to avoid the barbed wire, the nitro cells. And it was fast. You didn't like you could like you could spend like a half hour, forty five minutes trying to clear a map if you were playing on the harder difficulties. But but you know that was always fun. But it wasn't just doing something that you would do all the time anyway. I don't know, man. There, I, I'm not seeing a single reason why one had to be removed. Because there isn't one. There, There is not a single reason. Ubisoft knows this. Because if they didn't... Or, yeah, Ubisoft knows this. They know they're lying. Because if they were... If they legitimately could not have two different AIs in the game, they would not have left the tutorials in. The tutorials use the old AI. I guess maybe they updated that AI, but I'll get maybe I should check that just to be like a hundred percent sure. But I'm pretty sure they didn't even touch the tutorials past this. Does Valkyrie not use her cameras, or do I just am I just not seeing them? Ten seconds to insertion. Five seconds before insertion. Proceed to bomb the location and defuse it. Because if Valkyrie doesn't, in fact, place her cameras, then... Are they shooting my drone? What 
on earth is going on in there? They seem to have just a couple of spots too they like to hide in. I, I don't have much more to say, like. This is not, <laughs> it's cool, it was, it, it's fun. But I kind of got bored with it after after two rounds. I, I'm stuck on Clubhouse. I don't really like that map to begin with. There's just... What's... It's just... What's the point? I, I need an answer. What's the point? This is in beta. This game's been out for eight years and we have a beta tag on here. The map training, you don't even get all the maps. Like, how hard could it be? How hard is it possibly to just put in the dummies and those little tablets on every single map in the game? Like, if you can't, if it's not already yet, that's fine. Just don't remove stuff that worked perfectly fine for stuff that's not even ready yet. Like, like you were on a great track record too, Ubisoft. You started going back to what made Rainbow Six, Rainbow Six. You introduced Deimos. You brought back terrorism into your competitive shooter. And now you just took all of that away for less. There's nothing here. This is the only thing even worth touching again. And I'm not even going to touch it more than maybe twice just to play it with a friend or something. Like, I'll just go into this quick play and just play that. Like, I, I don't know. What, what, what more can I say without just repeating myself? Like, it's underwhelming. This, it was moderately fun, but I got bored after two rounds. Maybe that's just because I'm playing solo, but... I mean, even then, I I don't mind solo queuing in Siege. I, like, I'll play Siege for like two or three hours a day in just random competitive lobbies, so like... It's not even really that, I just got bored with this. <sighs> I don't know, man. It's just, it's underwhelming, and it's just in, immensely disappointing. Need to use your drone to locate a bomb. Here we are. Your drone is an essential observation tool. Move around, see what you can find. Okay, I'm going to try the tutorial, the attacking tutorial, just to see if, in fact, the old AI is still present. Do I really need to move to this marker? Good. Your drone is small enough to go through small holes like this one. Your drone can propel itself into a jump if you need to. Go up and over this wall. See the target? Scan it to mark its location. Be aware that scanning alerts the target. They'll know someone's spying on them. You can also use location pings like the ones I've been placing to guide you. These don't alert enemies. Ping the security camera above. 
Nice. You'll notice contextual pings give specific intel on what you ping to your teammates, like the camera icon here. Now, you can use it on empty locations. We got intel. Now it's time to find the bombs. They'll look like the image on your comms display. You found them. Usually bombs are placed in adjacent rooms, as you can see here through the bulletproof glass. You'll want to place your drone somewhere safe. Thank me later. Since the shelf is high, I suggest you look up nice jump. You're getting there, specialist. Turn around and look at the ping I placed. Uh, looks like the target spotted your drone. Well, not every drone makes it. They can be destroyed by bullets, melee attacks, explosives, and more. Let's move on to the action phase. Is this really the site they gave me? I don't the remember that. I remember it being holographic. So you'll be able to defuse one of the bombs. You need the diffuser for that. And right now, you don't have it in hand. You can repel on most outside walls when standing near them. Get to the rooftop. Well done. Now, pick up the diffuser over there. Before moving on, I suggest you destroy the security camera right now we're cooking. Let's find an entry point. Pell off the ledge I just pinged. Dizzy, you'd better gather some intel before breaking in. We don't want the defenders taking you by surprise. You lost your first drone, but every attacker carries a second one to use during the action phase. You should scout for intel before going in. Destroy the barricade so you can throw your drone in. Now you're free to look around. Ping, scan, find some intel you can use. Looks like you stumbled on a signal disruptor. Don't worry, your drone hasn't been destroyed, just jammed. If you want it, once you enter, destroy as many defender devices as you can. It's your first time destroying barbed wire, right? If there's no barbed wire, there's a moving defender observation tools. Well, now that there's no signal disruptor, you're free to pick up your drone. Safe and sound. Remember the bombs? One of them's bound to be behind this wall. Since Defenders will sometimes reinforce breakable surfaces to prevent breaching. Luckily for you, Thermite's unique ability is one step ahead. Open the operator guide and check out how And all right. Let's see what's on the other side. Sound familiar. Here's the bomb you found before. In Siege, it's important that you know how to improvise the path to your destination. Let's refuse this bomb. This room has a lot of lines of sight, though. Why did I pick the attacker tutorial? This the one's the most scripted. Till it expires, you have to protect the diffuser from defenders who will try to disable it. Hostiles are on the move. Put your skills to good use. Maybe they were... Maybe they were right. <laughs> no, they weren't. They're lying. It's a horrible lie. Because I can clearly see the AI is working. The AI works. This is the White Mask AI. Slightly more scripted because, you know, it was for the tutorial. What? You hear that? Someone's trying to disable your diffuser. Wait, they take, take more than one headshot? Hello, suicide bomber. Wow. I just, wow. Target's eliminated. Bomb diffused. All right. In the action phase, defender observation tools will help you locate and identify attackers so you can prepare your defensive strategy. Since I'm... you're in a relatively safe place, feel free to switch to the observation tools. I'm doing one more test, this time with the defending you tutorial. You destroyed security cameras with Zero previously, but now you're controlling them. 
As long as they are intact, apart from security cameras, defenders can deploy bulletproof cameras are a gadget that is a bit more advanced than your average security camera. They can see through smoke and they can shoot EMP bursts to the activated electronic devices. Use it on the drone, good job. Like drones, defender observation tools can be used to ping useful intel to your team. Ping that location. Now ping the drone you just deactivated. <laughs> they just teleported over here. <laughs> Isn't there one on the... Go Wait, where's the fifth one? One, two, three, four. Do I need to ping? Great. Time to identify the attackers. Go to the observation tools and see oh, that's if you can right. spot them all. Hey, buddy. Looks like they're attempting to defuse the bomb. Can you see them? There they are. They activated the diffuser. You're gonna have to stop them. Time to get in. Eliminate all targets before the bomb can be fully defused. Keep an eye on the timer. Yeah, that definitely looks like the old AI. So, um... Yeah, I thought that AI didn't work with the new AI. But, uh... No, it, 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 it seems to be working just fine, Ubisoft. Yeah, it, it seems to be working just fine. I thought the AI didn't work with the other AI. All targets are eliminated, but the bomb is still being defused. Until you deactivate the diffuser, they still have a chance to win. Hurry. What a joke, man. Just just what a joke. Well done. 